back again. We're going to be reviewing the Rocket Kane, uh, Rocket, uh, Ro Rocat Kane 200. Uh, Rock Cat. What is it? Rocket. Rocket Kane 200 Amo Mouse. Right after this. <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking around for this review of the Kane 200 mouse. I stream two days a week on Twitch. Come tell me what you think about the mouse. Uh, if you're thinking about buying it, you can come in there and pick my brain. I may have some more little tidbits I can give you. I stream two days a week. My link is right here. It's also in the description below. Come see me. So, Rocket, acquired by Turtle Beach, June of 2019 for $15 million. It's a German company. I had never heard of them until recently. I saw this beautiful keyboard, the Vulcan 121, and I just had to have it. So ever since I got that keyboard, uh, my mind's been turned on to the brand of Rocket. Uh, what's really blown up the news lately is that Dr. Disrespect recently signed a contract with them for a bajillion dollars, and he switched over his mouse his mouse pad and his keyboard to rocket. They weren't able to prime away from those sweet, sweet Turtle Beach headsets, but you know, it's all the same company, so it doesn't really matter. You might have noticed on the box it says Kane 200 AMO. What does AMO mean? <laughs> I'll tell you. I have no clue. I looked on the internet for a long time, like 20 minutes. I couldn't find anything except a random Reddit post that said it might mean AI motion. <laughs> like the sound of that. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's probably just because it's a German company. There's really no English translation. If there is, please tell me in the comments below because I have no clue. I, I really don't. Now I'm going to read you what the box says. 50 hour battery life, 16,000 DPI owl eye sensor, 50 million click life, one millisecond report rate, up to 1000 Hertz polling, 16.8 million RGB color, 100 gram weight. 512 kilobit onboard memory. <laughs> Taking a look at the mouse, you can see there's some RGB coloring right under the scroll wheel and right down here at the logo. Very subtle, you know, nothing on the sides, back or bottom or anything like that. Very subtle, not tacky. I like it. You can, uh, you know, bring your whole setup full circle with RGB. Concerning the performance of the mouse, my aim has literally never been better. So I'm like half trash right now, but in all seriousness, um, my aim has never been better. I've tested it in games like Overwatch, Escape from Tarkov, Doom Eternal, Valorant. And part of that, honestly, is probably due to the fact that I've been using something called the PST method to dial in my sensitivity. Having said that, uh, you know, this, this mouse definitely isn't detracting me from better aim. I've used my old mouse, the G Wolves Haiti. I plugged that back in a couple times just to compare as I was preparing for this review. And you know, it's definitely not hurting my aim because when I go back to my old mouse, I'm still shooting good. I'm still getting those sweet, sweet headshots, but going back to this mouse, you know, it's not making me the best player of all time, but it's definitely um, some of the best aim I've ever had. A lot of that's just down in the sensitivities, but you get the picture. It's a great mouse. It feels great in my hand. If you were to look at it from the side profile, it's great for palm grip players and it's great for fingertip players. I'm a fingertip player. You know, whenever I'm holding the mouse, it, it's something like this. You know, I've, I've got those, those fingers arched right there. Great for fingertip players like myself because I like a nice bigger mouse. I, I don't know why. I do not like a small mouse. It's kind of cramped for fingertip style, but I like a nice bigger mouse for how I play feels great in my hand. The best thing though, mouse buttons four and five. They're huge, they're freaking huge. It's kind of like the Death Adder by Razer. Um, but I also like the placement of them. So a lot of times maybe you'll get the button size you want, but you won't get them in the right placement side to side on the mouse. These, uh, they're not too far forward. Your, your thumb's gonna fall right in this area, right? But, if, if you're trying to reach this, it's not too much of a stretch. You know, a lot of times what I find is that maybe the buttons are a good size, but they're not in the right place. Or maybe you have some buttons in the right place, but they're too small. Um, this, this mouse is literally perfect in that regard, 
they they wind up where they need to be and they're the size they need to be as well at least for my play style the only thing i maybe would like to see is a few more buttons on the side i'd like to have some more things to play with i know some of their other mouses they put some some stuff up here on the top this is not one of those mice but you know it is what it is there are several popular mice out there that I think have inferior side button placement. Things like the G Wolves Haiti, which is what I switched away from, the Razer Lancet, the Steel Series Rival 600, Logitech G604, Logitech G502. One that I did mention was the Razer Death Adder. It's very similar in side button placement to that. Uh, a mouse I've used before in the past, went away from it for you know some different reasons, but um, I would compare the sides to that which is something that I really enjoy. So the worst thing about this mouse is not the mouse itself. It's actually the software. I'm gonna tell you all about that, but let me go through the software for you so you can see what it looks like, see what settings are in there before you buy. All right, all right, all right. This is what you see when you first open it up. Up at the top, I've got a keyboard and I've got the mouse. So you may only see the mouse if you load this up on your end. The first thing you see right here, AMO, Intelligent Lighting System, activated. What's, what's this? Oh, that's my AMO level. What's your AMO level? That's how much crap you've bought from Rocket. They give you a level. I bought two things and I'm only 50%. What's up with that? So we're gonna go over to the mouse tab. Settings, here's all the different things you can do. Vertical scroll speed, horizontal tilt speed, double click speed, windows pointer speed, DPI switcher. This is where you're gonna lock in all your different DPIs. Right now, I'm only using three different DPIs, but you can have up to five per profile. We'll come back to profiles here in just a minute. Now we're gonna to go to button assignment. Right here is where you can assign what, say, the scroll wheel does or the mouse four and five button on the side do. Uh, you can set up a macro, you can set up multimedia, you can disable the buttons if you want to. You do all that here in this menu. Illumination. I've got mine set on the AMO Intelligent Lighting System. It just reacts. Uh, I've got it set to AMO on my keyboard as well. So they just react in tandem with each other. So if the right side of my keyboard is yellow, the mouse is gonna be yellow as well. So I usually keep it on that. But they've also got other things like wave, fully lit, heartbeat, breathing, blinking, battery indication, which is a very fun one for people who don't like to have fun. Over in the advanced settings tab, that's where you can get a real-time display of your battery, signal strength. Um, you can tell it to go into automatic standby after 15 minutes or, you know, type in what you want there. Energy saving, reduce polling rate, you know, blah, blah, blah. My polling rate is set at 1,000 hertz. We have angle snapping, sound feedback when you change your DPI, you change your profile, or you change your volume up and down, zero debounce, distance control unit and there's the factory reset two things i want to talk about that's kind of related to the software number one whenever you switch through your different dpi levels you do that with this button right here uh, the one that says dpi when you switch through those there's also an audible sound cue that plays if you've got that turned on like we just saw in the settings it's very nice because i used to set it up like with an old logitech mouse i would have different lights for my different DPI levels, that way I kind of knew where I was at. So it's nice that I can press the DPI button and it reads out 1000 DPI, 2000 DPI. But there's this weird thing where I hit the my very highest DPI setting, it doesn't say DPI 3000, it says DPI up. 1000 DPI, 2400 DPI, DPI up, 1000 DPI. Why? Why does it do that every time? So I don't know why whenever you get to your top level DPI, it doesn't read where you're actually at. It says DPI up. The other thing has to do with the profiles. You can have up to five profiles for the mouse. I had one for Overwatch set up. So that way, whenever I switch to Overwatch, it could go to that higher DPI setting that I like to use, you know, when I'm not on my desktop, when I'm gaming. However, it never switched. So I don't know what's up with the profile thing, but I think it's broken. The Swarm software is just a straight up miss. There's no hit to it, it's all miss. Here's what happened when I first got the mouse. Day one, 
So I download the Swarm software, you know, so I can customize it and stuff like that. Got a new toy, got to play with it a little bit. I got the software, installed it, and it said, you know, it showed my mouse up there in the top like we just saw, but it wouldn't let me customize it. It said, you need to update your software to get the AMO module. Okay, first of all, why did the software I just downloaded not come with the AMO module? Whatever, you know, things like that happen all the time where you download software and it has to update immediately after you download it, whatever. But this is like missing a whole module. That's kind of weird. And so I try to download it. You go to the update tab. It's trying to run the update and it's just sitting there doing nothing. It's doing nothing. Wait, 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 doing nothing. Nothing visible. You try running the program as admin, uninstall, reinstall, nothing. I installed an older version, nothing. So I, I take to Google and I start looking. Once again, I found another Reddit post um, from years ago, like two years ago with people having the same issues. People from a year, a year to a year and a half ago having the same problems as well. And, you know, I didn't really know what to do. So I put in a support ticket. My support ticket came back about 48 hours later with a response, which really stinks because I want to use this mouse, but I can't customize it at all. And I have to wait two days. The response I got from customer service or sorry, technical support was that, hey, the servers have been reset. So you should now be able to update your software. What do you mean the servers have been reset? What kind of server holds one module while the other servers have the main program? I really don't understand that. But to their credit, I was able to then update my software. So I'm assuming this is the same issue that people were having years ago and they still haven't fixed it. So that's the thing. If you're going to buy this mouse, I highly recommend you download the software now while the mouse is on the way to your house rather than the day of. That way you've got all the time in the world to get all the little modules you need. So bringing it all together, as our fearless leader Donald Trump would probably motion, um, what do I score this mouse? I think for the mouse itself, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I give it a 9 out of 10 because it's a great mouse. Um, I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 because it didn't like change my whole life and, you know, change my religion or something, but it's, it's a great mouse. It does everything I need it to do. The buttons are laid out. Well, I love the RGB. There's no wireless, uh, you know, Bluetooth delay in it. It gets the wires off my desktop for a nice clean setup. I really enjoy the mouse, but then on the other side with the software, I really can't give the software anything more than a five out of 10. Hey, thank you so much for watching this review. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so below. It helps me out so much, more than you'll ever know. Also like the video, comment, tell me, are you getting this mouse? I want to know about it. Have you gotten the mouse and you're really struggling with the software? I need to know if you're in the same boat as me. I need the moral support. So please comment below and let me know. Also, don't forget you can find me on Twitch where I'll be using this mouse to blow people's faces off. I will see you there. Holler at your boy. Bye-bye.